They want you to not have children. Don't you understand that? That's what transgenderism is about. Feminism is about. Climate change BS is about. Every narrative that they shove down our throat is to get you to be extinct. They hate us. Evil hates the children of God. They hate us. If we're not of use to them, if we're not fighting their wars or paying their bills or being slaves for them, they don't want us. And so we're moving into a time where there's robots and there's AI and there's automations and there's technology and they don't need us anymore. They saw this coming and that's why they unleashed all this fury of climate change and don't have children. You see it in all the most diabolical regimes. They want to get rid of you. If they can't control you, they don't want you around. But as pushback, you must have children. You have to have children. And this whole idea too is, is, is definitely a, it's a, it's a Western idea because Muslims are having kids. Africans are having kids. They're having lots of babies. You know, they talk about how Islam is the fastest growing religion. Yeah, because they're outbreeding Christians because Christians are so dumb that they've fallen for modernism. Christians are doing the dumbest things ever by following these modernist ideas. We're contracepting ourselves out of existence. That's how evil wins. Evil wins when you give up. And when we stop having children, that means we gave up. That's exactly what they want you to do. So the thing is, if Satan can't get you to not have children, make yourself sterile, you know, have a bunch of sterile transient sex, be a homosexual, all these kinds of things, then they'll make sure that they rob the cradle. And that's what they're doing. They're robbing the cradle. A big part of feminism was, it was such a multifaceted plot. It was like, okay, get women, part of it is get women out of the house so the children have to be educated by the state. Not only do they get two taxpayers, but now they can brainwash your children. So if you are having children, you can't let them rob your cradle. And the cradle robbing is pernicious. It's insidious. The cradle robbing begins as they're coming out of the womb. They're jabbing them with all kinds of stuff. Most of you guys don't know this. I kept it secret for a long time, but since post-pandemic, I could speak up now more. None of my kids zero because I wasn't letting Satan rob the cradle. Look at all these women who took the during the um, pandemic. They all had stillborns. Satan stole their baby right out of their womb. The food that they eat. Does your wife give your babies formula? Fucking soy formula with hydrogenated oils and high fructose corn syrup. That's robbing the cradle. The food that your wife eats affects the baby's brain. Look at all these kids that are showing up with autism. I think it's something like one out of every five kids has autism. That's not a mistake. That's Satan robbing your children, stealing them from a cradle. You got to do things different. That's really my whole point. There's this whole Christian movement. And it was like the, all these families who were like having 15 kids. Their whole idea was we got to outbreed. We got to outbreed the evil one. And, it, and they called it the quiverful, they're, they're quiver, they're quiverful families. Because a quiver is where you put all your arrows for you, so you could launch your bow and arrow. You have to fill your quiver and keep those arrows sharp. How do you keep the arrow sharp? Well, it's more about omission than commission because kids really don't need that much. If you give them a moral Christian upbringing, that's my conviction, and nothing else, but you eliminate Garbage food, garbage entertainment, garbage on the screen, garbage ideas, garbage education. You minimize, you, you minimize the downside. You got to get rid of stuff. Keep the arrow sharp by not subjecting it to dulling influences and giving, it, giving them a moral upbringing. Porn. 68% of church-going men watch it secretly, hiding this vice from their wife. For other men, it's alcohol or drug use? Are you willing to risk your marriage, family, and finances for sinful pleasures and vice? Or are you ready to fight back? If you're a married Christian businessman or entrepreneur, caught in the clutches of drinking, drugs, or jerking off, realize that every moment spent in these vices is literally destroying your life. Is this the man God called you to be, to live like this? If you're ready to go to war against vice and take your life back, here's my advice. Click the link in this video or visit waronvice.com to book a call with me to see if we're a good fit for going into battle together. I'll see you on the inside.